Water quality and chemistry is very crucial to brewers. Water is really the canvas that brewers use to paint upon with malt, hops, yeast, maybe some spices, fruit. We're really fortunate here to have amazing water. In fact, our water in Fort Collins primarily comes from the Poudre River and some from horse tooth. This water is very soft and very low in mineral content, and that is because this water comes down from the mountains, does not have a lot of time to seep underground. It comes from the rivers primarily, and it, is, it doesn't have time to pick up minerals and things that uh, it would pick up from underground. Uh, as opposed to other areas in the country where you have underground aquifers that you're pulling water from, and you have rain coming down, extracting mineral content you know, through underground aquifers into that water that may be what we call harder water, higher in calcium content specifically. Yeah, that's why a lot of the lager breweries spr sprouted up here, because it's extremely amazing, just amazing water to brew with. It's uh, perfect for making light American lager beer for sure, but in terms of craft brewing and all the other amazing breweries we have here in Colorado, this water is very soft. It's easy to build upon that by the addition of specific inorganic salts such as calcium chloride, calcium sulfate, magnesium chloride. We can add these things to the water and actually doctor it up um, and, and turn it into pretty much any type of water we want to brew all kinds of styles, whatever you want, brown ales, whatever you want, English pale ales, we can do all that stuff here. I would say the biggest impact we've ever had on water were the wildfires we had up in the canyon. So, so the Cameron Peak fire, fire for sure, a lot of that uh, getting down into the water supply really had a, a huge impact on the industry here. Our taste pan panel at New Belgium actually trained on the types of aromas and flavors that we would get from the water, including smoke tainted or geospin, which is uh, earthy uh, kind of aromas. So we trained on all that. Brewing can be very water intensive. It's really important that we get as much as we can from the raw materials. We actually have the students make calculators to calculate their efficiencies from the raw materials, namely the malt that goes in. So there are creative ways um, and some industry standard ways to reuse that water in those processes to reduce waste during cleaning for sure. Brewers by nature are very innovative people and like to think outside the box around a lot of things. So um, I like to think that you know, brewers, brewers have really set a lot of standards in not only the brewing industry, but otherwise in terms of water conservation and water savings.